Yep, how y'all doing? It's definitely been a while since I posted. Got a different phone, my own plan, prepaid, prepaid plan. So, do whatever. Any drama. Um, <clears throat> been training. My last student actually make me, make me, um, sort of my britches. It was actually uncontrollable. I mean, it was, you know, I'm thinking, I felt my butt open, open up and left something. I'm like, oh, hey, hey, stop over here. Go check this tire. I had the student check the tire. I put toilet paper in my butt crack. Never had that happened before. Of course, first time we have a student that knew nothing. And if he was, mm, was slow on things. But he had family issues, supposedly. He's off a truck, has a house now. I mean, especially some, I get some of the questions like, hey, what's supposed to do now? GPS? I can't read it. I'm, I'm over the passenger seat. Like, lean over her. Okay, yeah, take this next exit like it says. <sighs> but, um, it's just all part about being a trainer. Exciting times. Got yeah, life insurance, so I ain't nothing to worry about. <sighs> fun, fun, fun. Look forward to things not wait for some things to die, <laughs> then everything be better. But, um, I have due time. Um, we're not going much to talk about, but it's on my long duck channel. My other channels for me have these word thoughts, I just run with them, like in the world stuff, you know. I talk about that next channel. Um, Coming's doing good. I mean, Memphis doing good. My dispatchers in charge of students, so I'm gonna get. I'm be getting more students. It's doing all right. You know, of course, no. My ex wife having to find somebody, which and they're gonna get married. It's like awful quick. And they're both in the same class of looks. She's a five, like myself average. He's a seven or eight. This dude is in pretty good shape, but suppose he has cancer or something. And it's, it's, he got an ex-wife too. He kicked him out of the house or something. I don't know. But she went out with him earlier when she was in high school or not. I don't know. She probably, he probably tried to use her then. Like, oh, wait, we got, oh, good, better looking woman. Yeah. But, you know, stupid people are going to die a stupid death. Phil's deaf. Yeah. He's gonna get pregnant out of her shit and probably beat the fuck out of her. But oh well. This is what you want. This is what you get. This is what you want. This is what you get. <laughs> I go oh, well. Tell them don't fuck my boys. Yeah. I just some cancer treatment next week, next month. I mean, to watch, if I can watch kids for a week. It's like, yeah, well, I got to come up with about three weeks of child support. Plus, money to buy him food for a week. Well, I'm supporting him for a week, but I got to give her $300. Yeah, that's coming to the end. That's the first of the year. Get my income, I'm reassessed. I ain't supporting her and him. No. For the kids. She has full custody. She has full responsibility. She can't take care of him. I can hire me a nanny. So, but that's all that's happening with me. You know, being cordial, being her, because it's beneficial to her. You know, I want to just take me the money for kids. I told her I can get it, get reassessed. Oh, all of a sudden she cares about me. <laughs> you know, bullshit. I think at first she might have been in love with me, but she was trying to chase me off for some reason. Made my mind up. You know, love is a choice. Feelings, you go by, if you love based on feelings, yeah, that's why they come and go. They're feelings. You know, but, can't have someone that's not going to be loyal, not going to be on my side, you know, stand by your man. 
back in the day, yeah, men used to beat the women, but the women stayed beside them. Hmm. Don't hit your woman. High divorce rate, regardless of your religious beliefs. You know, Christians have 50 percent. According to their Bible, divorce is a no-no, but whatever. That's what they practice on Sundays. I'm I'm, non, I'm a non-religious Christian. Now, I know Jesus Christ personally. I know He's real. But his so-called followers who go to church turn, I mean, they work for the devil. They do. They work for the goddamn devil. And they don't even know it. They turn more people away from Jesus than shit. Than any demon in hell could. <laughs> because they tell people that Jesus is not real. That it's all bullshit. But their actions. You know a tree by its fruit. Good. Read the whole context. Read the whole fucking chapter. You know, when you open up your mouth like that, you, re you let me know you're a fucking dumbass. But you can't Christian your cross would not ah, There you go, judging me. Now, they did, did not speak English. I graduated from seminary. They did not speak English. That word should be translated to condemn. Like charity should have been love. Hmm? But I don't know. I lay back and let God work things out. Stay out of it. Don't fall for the tricks of the devil. Again, to fall for my anger and just do what I feel like doing. But, um,. Being a mentor. And hopefully I get the money saved up. Because yeah, I've been out been out, so I'll be take a week. But but by then we'll be able to come back for Thanksgiving and stay out, probably stay out to after Christmas, have my own Christmas. And she always has something that's gonna fuck me up. Supposed cancer, whatnot. It might be. I mean her last doctor told her nothing more they can do. She found another set of doctors that would keep on treating her. Yeah. Cha-ching. Oh, it's still, still, still growing. Well, come back next month. We're going to give you some more treatments. More treatments. I ain't going to do shit. Except make somebody some money. But she's stupid. I mean, why is there, why is there many Christians so freaking scared to die? The first person you're going to see is Jesus. If you know him. If you know him. If you know him. Being a member of a fucking church doesn't make you know Jesus Christ at all. You know, they had to go around spending time yelling at homosexuals. Um, I'd rather work for a homosexual. <laughs> I've been fucked over by more Christians than... Um, than any non-believer. Besides that, there's enemies in other countries that want to kill homosexuals because they're homosexual, and they won't kill Christians because they're Christians. We got we got a common enemy. Band together, show the homosexuals love. Be beating them over here with the Bible, thinking you I'll make a stand. I'll make no, you're not. Become a big asshole. I'm not going to. The law says it's legal for them to marry. Okay? Do it. Sign their marriage certificate. Do it. Doesn't mean God recognizes it. The law of man. Original purpose of marriage license is to control the races at first, to keep the whites and blacks from intermingling. That's all the original purpose of a marriage license was for. But now it means nothing, okay? Homosexuals, they want to have the same drama and heartache as, as straight couples. You know, divorce. And then knock themselves out. The law says, boom, they can get a marriage license, give it to them. There's people in the military that according to their religion, they're not supposed to kill, but hey, they're killing. So. I'm 
Now they're all killing. You kill the enemy. That's what you do with the enemy. You kill the enemy. Now I think I'm gonna put this on this George Kelly one. It's too, uh, yeah, this is gonna be on my George Kelly link. On my my pay my whatever you call it Facebook thing. Not Facebook, but oh uh, YouTube. Too my passion's coming out. It, it's not, now it's not about trucking. It's about strange thoughts, deep thoughts, and what I've been pondering about. But, um, hold that there in my hand. <laughs> you know, just rolling. And slow races are quick to anger, quick to tear shit up. But, so they body to say races, but there's only one race, there's one race. The human race. There's breeds. Like of animals, certain breeds of animals are stupid, certain breeds of animals are smart. Same with the human race. The smarter ones have the intellect to be able to teach the slower ones. I have compassion for that. But that's my opinion. You know. People just keep on getting mad and burning down their own cities. No, no, Iran wants nukes. I say, let them have it. Let them have nukes, you know. They might launch from Israel. Yeah, then we launched on them, and then Russia, here, and then, and then, you know. There'll be peace. be peace on Earth, because there'll be no man. Yeah. If a guy ever came to me one day and said, um, should I save him or kill him? I, I'll say kill every human. Blow up every plant, everything they touch. There'd be no, no evidence of, of this big mistake. That's now I've been pondering on for my strange thoughts. Ugh. But anyways, like man, that ain't gonna happen. Or it's not gonna end. This ain't gonna come. It's too good to be true. Why so many people are scared to die? I don't know. Don't know. <laughs>